انتي او نوت وي ار رولينغ وذ ات تاشما نقرا شي اد هيا ام نقدر نلبس ساندي موني بيكوز ماندي موني ام فيري ماتش ا مورنينغ 6 اي ام فور مي ام سيرين فروم كوايت ا انيوجوال بلايس بيكوز يو نو ام ات ورك at least to say I'm in the office so um, as I said Monday we missed yesterday's stream because Adi was away on Pokemon Jota tour and so today we're going to have a like a makeup quick stream very quick very short because I didn't do some work before the day starts um, anyway as you can see what we get there is American um, military Russian, Marie Military Tweet, menu number two, beef shredded in barbecue sauce, and it's from 2021, so about a year old. Um, the exact packing date is 123rd day of 2021, so this is under a year old, unless the seller. Um, scout me and this will be from 2011 which I don't believe it is let's see inside I'm trying to open the level seal because I kind of like keeping the bags That's really the right of And we got an inner clear seal to the bag. beef in barbecue sauce black beans in seasoned sauce so like a nice burrito combo uh, cheese spread with jalapenos keeping the day get oatmeal cookie some plain tortillas Oh yeah, uh, beverage base powder orange, and we might actually be at the um, 20, 2011 end of scale because um, 2021 this Russian came with a uh, chocolate drink, as you can see there's none, and we got some Axel packet with Splenda. Which they don't put in now, I believe. And it's actually about it C, which is not in rotation anymore. So 2011. Yeah, 2011 plus 28 is when the uh, bar design change. Did. See, that's why you always check um, properly when buying stuff. And accessory pocket got some splendor, as I said. TP, moist toilet, um, other salt, crema, non dairy, beers brew, frizzed coffee, which I wonder if it would be good, cinnamon gum, um, a spoon, Russian heater, beverage bag, and a heating sleeve with all the information about the mains. As you can guess, um, I don't have tray with me because, you know, not as like a situation where I have to use a tray. Uh, but I get some sort of plates, bowls, see about that. Uh, I'm going to try and start the FRH, put it outside the window, just in case it might spike the um, fire alarm. But I'm not giving it much 
chances will probably eat beef and beans cold and I'll just pop it in the microwave later for lunch that's our two mains into the uh, porridge that would be definitely enough I could try adding salt from the get-go to start it Hey LG, I hope it's not some terribly um, so late. It should it's already early morning for you. But it did start, so there's a chance for a warm breakfast. As I said, it's going to have a hard job um, because it's going right outside the window. Just in case the, spy, the, the fumes might spike uh, our fire alarm. Okay, so what else we get here? Um, hmm. I got my little uh, travel. Cześć Mira! <laughs> nice to see you. Uh, okay, so let's make a drink. Uh, hot beverage bag. I will do coffee in a cup like a proper human person. You know. Um, it's for 12 ounces of water. So the bag is about right for that. So it means that beginning uh, I've been cheated because I believed um, this was 2021 Russian. And it's not, it's 2011, so keep that in mind. Ooh, the powder is very powdery, that's nice. You put your um, drink into the bag, easy enough. Add water to the uh, fill line. 12 ounces for this drink. I might overfill it because it's usually too sweet for me. Um, zip it close. Sorry about sudden movement, but warning. That wasn't the best idea. Hello, baby. Looks like the whole gang is here. My Miss Zita is rightfully asleep right now. Oh, there's still a lot of powder on the bottom that doesn't want to dissolve. So I pour it. Uh, I will pour it into a glass later. Let it just sit in the bag for now. What else we got? Coffee. Now, in keeping with the um, with the way in the field, the I'm getting this kind of cup. Um, yeah, technically you could mix your coffee in the hot beverage bag and put that into your forage to heat it properly but uh, we're not in the field thank god we're just in my office which sometimes is like a field mentally but oh okay coffee looks nice very nice 
Coffee goes in. Prima and Splendor. No, I got real sugar on me. So I'm tempted to use that instead. Yeah, that's Splendor. I will use Crema though. Maybe not. Nah, not there is. Non dairy cream is a scam anyway, so uh, I got some fast food sugar, you know, in them tubes. So, yep, that's what we do. A little bit of sugar in the morning is highly recommendable for you. smells like a nice instant coffee it's a different smell from like real brewed coffee but I kind of still like it like it reminds me of my uni days okay what else we got here oatmeal cookie oatmeal is nice cookies are nice I wonder if it will come with chocolate possibly not if there's nothing written Ooh. <laughs> Nice big plain oatmeal cookie. So just a taste, just a taste right now, and a nice 10 a.m. snack. Um, tortillas. If I had any space left in the heater, I would put tortillas in as well, uh, because warm makes them more playable. But as you can see, it's already full, and I don't believe it will heat up anything properly. Um, so yeah, it's not a year old MOE, it's most probably 10 years old, I'm not sure anymore, <laughs> but tortillas look nice and fresh and they're soft. Uh, this is American Russian, as you can see, it's kind of obvious how it looks. Mm, okay, so we got tortillas. Oh, we got some cheese spread for jalapenos, which will kill me because the jalapenos are very spicy in this one. Although the um, fat in cheese kind of um, mellows them out, so that's, that's that. Okay. Cheese feels nice and soft, so. Um, now I'm not sure anymore. It can be 2021 just no, it can be 2021. Um hmm. I will check the accessory packs from 2020. If they had many uh, uh, accessory packs, see, it would could be 2021, just the very beginning from leftovers. But yeah, most probably 2011. Although the cheese is nice and bright, so it's definitely fresh. Can I focus on cheese, please? That's a curious, curious thing. Um, anyway, yeah, that's, that's what's in this Russian. Uh, it's super surprising enough, it doesn't have too many like separate parts. It's all coming together as one meal, um, especially with the beef and beans later. Let's have a sip of our alarmingly orange orange drink. Um, if you ever drink from this kind of bag, you don't want these corners because you will pour this up all over yourself. Just make a nozzle here and drink it like that. Mm. It's 
sweet orangey. Not too bad actually. Um, definitely orange drink, not fake orange juice, but you'll do. And as you can see, it's this right back. Uh, you can put it in your pocket if you're walking and drink on the go. Um, I kind of like that when Polish Russians come with a straw because you can just put straw in it and it's more chance of keeping it, um, of, of drinking it straight and not uh, pour it all over yourself. But what can you do? So, Tutia, I'm going to try just a little bit on its own and maybe a bit of jalapeno cheese before I um, retrieve the mains from the window. special about tortilla so far mm -hmm. that is sweet quite fresh a bit chewy definitely um a better choice of uh with some bread although the cheese is very yellow can we like focus on this please okay you can see the yellow cheese with a little bit of jalapenos in. Hmm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, um, the beginning is just cheese, maybe a little bit of heat, but I wanted, I almost said, mm, it's not as spicy as I remember it to be, but then the heat just pops and builds on your palate and your throat, it's, oh, it's like fire. So, uh, um, I really did better. Ways to spice your food the jalapeno because this is mostly heat. There's not much, and I can't pick up too much flavor in it. It's mostly heat. Um, mm, yeah, it'll do, but definitely not my favorite food. Not my favorite at all. Um, okay, so some heating happened, but between cold outside and the heating pad being squashed between two mains, two meals, it didn't work up too well. Uh, can you fit it in one bowl? Maybe, probably, we'll see about that. So, uh, first off beef in barbecue sauce is going to be cold so I judge it cold because that's how sometimes people have to eat it and then I pop it in and nuke it um, later in the day but technically I could just leave it in the pouches even for now so maybe that's what I did that's what I do for now Instead of putting it in a bowl, I'm going to 
get another one of these so you can see what it looks inside that's the shredded beef I'm um, sorry to say but it looks like someone already ate it once and then comes the beans meats yeah it says beef so I wouldn't be too sure if it's only beef in there and there's uh, beans in sauce, in um, spiced sauce, in seasoned sauce, so. So, that's a combo. Um, most probably you would just dump um, beans into meats or uh, vice versa, mix them up, eat them together. I'm going to just, you know, have a separate taste just for the sake of tasting. So, a little bit of beef first. Um, consistency texture looks like uh, a bit like you know pulled beef or something. I guess that's the same idea as shredded. So obviously it's cold, um, and the meat is quite chewy. Flavor sounds on the sweeter side of um, barbecue. Little hints of acidity, but mostly sweet. Yeah, I kind of do like it. I wonder what hidden output do to that flavor. Uh, if would, if um, hidden output make it more acidic or sweeter. Or if it will help meat at all. So beans in nondescript seasoned sauce. Tiny red beans. Hmm. There's some spice in it. Mm. I'm not sure exactly what spice it is. That's a bit spicy. So spicy beans and sweet uh, beef. It should work nicely together. Mm. Beans themselves are very starchy. Um, hot pack because they're cold. Warm would be nice soft starchy um, so that would definitely give a nice mouth feel mm, I kind of like the combo as I said you can just put it um, on the tortilla like you would probably mix both bags first okay I'm not applying separately but um, you can add some jalapeno to it uh, I'm not sure if I want to right now that's not the best idea. Just wrap it and eat it. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah. <clears throat> it's going to be a very very happy lunch. That's a nice um, bit of heat, bit of sweet combo. Um, tortilla adds a little bit of chew, but not too much. So there's some texture in it.
um, okay, and it was beautifully happening because then the heat is just starts slowly building up after all those flavors dissipate. It's still a bit too hot for being pleasant for me. Like and just leave stickles in your throat instead of warming you up. Yeah, but it's a nice combo end and uh, as far as MREs go, it's nice to have a comprehensive meal, stuff that can just be put together for one thing, instead of just, you know, very separate main side, dessert, sweet. This is very, um, this is, this is uh, very well thought through together as a set. Not just as a random bunch of ingredients you would eat at the meal time. Okay, let me um, have a drink of water. Because it's dessert time. Um, and yes, it's a very short, very quick stream. Because I said I should do some work before work starts. Cookie. This cookie is a little bit of perfection, I'd say. Nice golden. Can we just focus and look on the cookie? <laughs> okay. Okay. Beautiful, fresh, crumbly, sugary, delicious, delicious, fucking delicious cookie. Um, it could probably break up a part. I'm dunking my coffee. That didn't go too well, but you know, oatmeal cookie and some coffee. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Um. Hmm. Um. I don't know if I would like to have this every day. And uh, definitely, definitely. Um. Exchange jalapeno cheese for regular one, or maybe the bacon cheese. But I do like this meal. Uh, it's a very, very solid combination, very delicious combination. And if any sort of taco or burrito stuff is, um, is a thing you eat often, this would definitely count as count as a comfort meal, comfort food. Um, it even tastes like comfort food to me. A like nice feeling. And warm would make you a very happy person. And yes, that is um, cinnamon chewing gum. I can tell by the wrapper. Uh, see through is mint, red is always cinnamon, not my favorite, but that's its job. Um, yeah, I'll probably finish my tortilla now and leave the rest for snack and for my um, lunch. Definitely we're warmed up. Maybe even with the jalapeno, like put both pouches and cheese in a bowl, stuff that into a um, microwave, nuke it, and have the tortilla later. That would be a nice, nice lunch, I think. Yep, okay, so let me have one more sip of the orange drink. differently mm. um, 
So, in Polish Russians, uh, I mean, in every country, Russian is a stuff that is like home. That um, it's kind of like the things you ate growing up, and that adds to the comfort factor. This combo, I believe, might be one of those meals. Uh, it's definitely way better than, I don't know, pizza or with other stuff like fettuccine with mushroom and spinach, which isn't bad, but just, you know, in it doesn't fit that comfort food zone, I think. Um, and it's no wonder that this particular menu Shredded beef and barbecue sauce, it's one of those that didn't change in years now. Um, it's consistently in the in the um, in the roster in the one of the 24 menus, so yeah. Anyway, that would be it for now, I believe. Close to 7 a.m., so I should do some work. Uh, sorry about very rushed and very quick stream. But as I said, it's a little bit of a surprise bonus makeup for yesterday. I'll see you on Sunday, our usual time, 10 a.m. my time. Uh, you can calculate yours, or Twitch will tell you what time it is at your end. Um, I might put up some polls on Twitter to decide if we're going back to the States or if we're saying Europe. Um, I don't have Ukraine Russian. Um, I know Sif Sif 1989 released Ukraine Russian tasting video a couple of days back. Um, I guess it's his input into the it's his part of spreading the word. Ukraine Russian. Russian, so that feels a bit bad right now, but if you want to check that, maybe, maybe we could do Russian Russian this Sunday. If not, I'll just, um, as I said, I'll drop probably some Twitter polls and we'll see how that goes. If not, there's also always the poll, anonymous group poll underneath the video, so you can drop your vote there. Um, that will be it for now. I thank you for joining me. Now go to sleep if it's late time for you or have a good Monday, have a good day. Um, yeah, stay well, stay, stay well, stay safe, stay healthy. Thank you. Adi out.